Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video, we're just going to do a quick one to get back into the routine here. As you can see, I have a normal platformer object here, but what we're going to be introducing today is a small little change where if I hold down my shift button, I can then run. And you can, hopefully, you can notice it on the screen here, but if I'm holding down the shift button, I go all the way to the right. It doesn't take me as long as when I let go of my shift button and go to the left. So that's what we're going to be implementing today. And yeah, so let's roll the intro and let's get right to it. Okay, so we have our default project here. I have a room, which is just our character and the blocking or solid objects here. Actually, let's quickly go and change this because I know in the last video, uh, I couldn't really see it that well. So we're gonna change it to Let's say orange and let's give it a opacity of 128 and we'll fill that in and hopefully that will make things a lot easier to see. Okay, so this is where a player cannot pass through and we have a player object and hopefully you have seen a lot of this already. This is our basic platformer. I have a couple of extra things on here, but nothing really too big. So if I run this game right now. I can do the simple things like move left and right, jump up and down, and then just collide with the wall. If I hold down my shift key, you can see my speed is not changing. And that's what we're going to be working on. So if we close this and we go to the create event, we're going to be using a couple different variables to determine whether or not we're holding down the run key and how much we want to let the player run. So the very first thing we're going to do is create a key called key underscore and I'm having some problem spelling key underscore run and I'm just going to use the VK shift so this is going to be the shift key on my keyboard now I'm going to make two new variables and I will have a variable for let's say multiplier underscore walk and I will just set it to one and then uh, that should be actually multiplier and I will also say multiplier underscore run and I'm going to set this to something a little bit high for now I'll say number three. Now that we have these three variables here, we're going to be using them in the step event. Inside the step event, we have our horizontal movement. So right here, we're checking if the player has pressed the left or right key. And as long as the player is pressing one of those keys, we're going to be executing this code here, which is actually moving our player left and right. So all we need to do is in here, we need to check to see if our player is pressing the shift key. So we could say if keyboard underscore check, and let's look for that key underscore run. If we are pressing the run key, what do we want to do? Well, let's set a local variable first. We'll say var multiplier equals the multiplier of walk. If we are pressing the run key, then we want to set the multiplier to equal the multiplier run. So once again, we're setting a local variable to equal one because that's what we have a variable set at. If we press down the shift key, we're going to change that multiplier variable to three because that's what our variable is set at. And now what I have to do is just change my horizontal input. So right now this is either a negative one, a zero or a one because we're using the keyboard. What I want to do is just multiply this. So horizontal input equals or times equals for multiplication. And we're going to multiply it by whatever the multiplier is at that current time. So it will either be uh, our horizontal input times one or times three. Now that we've done that, really the only thing left to do is increase the maximum speed that we can move at. So right here on line 27, we're clamping our horizontal movement and we're using the negative max speed and max speed. So if we take a look at our create event and we find max speed, we can see that the maximum speed is eight pixels per frame. What I wanna do is I wanna add on to that. So I could say the max speed is gonna be times the multiplier for each one of these different clamps. So what we're doing here is we're just saying, if we are holding down the shift key, our multiplier is going to be three. Therefore, the maximum speed that we can move left or right is going to be eight 
times three, so that would give us our number. Now, if we do this, uh, let's see, I have an error here. Let me check for brackets, and I'm missing one at the end. And I hit F5, because we set our run speed to something pretty high, we should be able to notice it as soon as I hit the shift key. So I'm gonna just keep walking here, and now I'm gonna hit my shift key. And you can see that my player is now uh, running extremely fast. And because of the code that we're using, it's automatically being detected that we've hit the wall and everything. Now, the one thing that you may want to do is you saw that while I was in the air, as soon as I let go of shift, my player stopped uh, going that quick. So that be that might be one fix that you make. So the only real thing that I would do in this is come up to our run multiplier, and I would just change it to something not as drastic as three. And that way, when your player is running, they just get kind of the... Um, they don't get a huge speed boost, but they actually, it feels like they're running. Anyway, so that is it. I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and uh, let's get right back at it. Hopefully, I'll start doing uh, one every week. If you have tutorial suggestions, just let me know, and I will write them down and do my research. And uh, yeah, I hope to get more into this once again. Thank you very much for all of your support.